Brian, are you ready to do a video? Maybe. We're gonna go to the rocks to do it. You get a hand? But first, have some pie. Wow, that could have been bad. You know what? I thought it was gonna hit my TV. That could have been really bad. You want to hacky sack it? No, I don't. That'd be fun. Dude, no, we're not hacky sacking cherry pie. For the last six days, I the first thing I do when I wake up is I exercise and run. So a lot of times I'm working like that. That's to explain why I look like this today. I'm not in my skateboarding gear. But this is just a talking video. We're gonna ask Brian Ames his uh, top five favorite skate memories. And maybe I'm gonna do this with other people on the team. I don't know. Maybe I'll do me next. I'm not sure, but hopefully you guys dig this. Let's go, let's go have a video. It's a beautiful day. Those stupid shoes you're wearing. Yeah, when, the, when you run, it works, okay? Gives me sproing. Sproing. What a dumb word. It's a, it's a very dumb Reminds word. Me what? What? I feel okay-ish. Craig's just been trailing behind us. Like 15 feet behind us the whole he, time. He's absolutely not important to this video aside from being our friend, which makes him important. He's just here <laughs> to hang out. That's was fun. that offensive? No. That was nice? Yeah. Was it a good way to put it? Okay. I guess I didn't have to say it wasn't important. He's important. This w video would be nothing without Craig. Dude, dude, dude! No, I'm not asking you questions. Actually, this is a new set of videos that I might be doing. No, Top five doing. favorite skate memories. Okay. Skate memories? Like the best moments in the skateboarding world that uh, in your life. My life? Yeah. I remember we were at my parents' this house. This is one, right? Number yeah, this one. is one. We were at my parents' one. house, and this is back when you actually had to like order skate videos, and we were all skating in my house, and Sorry came in the mail, and we were really excited about it. I, I quit my job that day to watch it. I, I remember that actually. Yeah. There's like a bunch of us. We watched it on VHS in my parents' basement because we had to order it. Yeah. Well, you did, you had you could order. That was the best way to do it. But you got lucky with skate shops sometimes. But they never had it as soon as you could get it. You know. Yep. It took a while. And this was this wasn't like 30 years ago or anything. This was like like 15 years ago. That was a good video too. Yeah. Okay. So watching Sorry. Watching Sorry for the first time on VHS in my parents' house. Skate memory one. Number two. Let's hear it. Every skate trip we took to California when we were kids. Like really, there's not one that like sticks out. Not, I mean, they all kind of melded together. We went to like three three of them or something like that. We yeah. just filmed it like Corona Park, thinking that that's how you that's how you filmed Dude. a part at a skate park. Yeah. An outdoor crappy. We used to take the bus to Corona all the time. Yes, we did. And you know what? And I think about that stuff now, and I'm like, I, I we did a lot of stuff when we were like 16 that I'd be like, that wasn't confusing. Like I figured that all out. I did just fine. Like. Dude, I took a bus to downtown LA, just Joe and I, when I was 15. From Riverside. From it's like, Riverside. It's like two hour drive. Yeah, and then like we got it, it put us out in the worst part of town. We got out, we skated around downtown, got back and got back to Riverside. Like, we didn't screw it up. We didn't get killed or we did get offered drugs immediately. We, the moment we walked out into LA, a guy was like, hey, I want to sell you drugs. And I was like, no. Freaking McGruff the dog was back there rocking and he got arrested moments later by the dog. By the dog? Yeah. Right on. So yes, every California trip we took as kids. Good, good, good times. They were good times. It's, it's really hard to come up with five random, like, good memories. Of the is it hard to, to talk or my legs are just sitting here like this? Yes, they are. The third one is another lump sum memory, what? but it's uh, everything we did is the Beach Mob Mob, the B-Mob days. Beach Mob Mob, yeah. Yep. If you guys don't know, so what happened? Well, you want to tell a story? This is your video, so. It's, what well, happened? What how did B-Mob come to me? I don't even know how it really started. You weren't started, there at the beginning. I wasn't, yeah. yeah, at the beginning it was not me. But it's basically yeah. our little skate crew when we were, we were kids. We came out with, uh, the first video was Turn Lane, then Remain Silent, Beam Up 3. It's been, it was good. It was, uh, it was like the best way we could have grown up. Pretty it really, much. It's really basically was. exactly what we're doing right now. Yeah, no it is. It's literally so the like, exact same thing. We've yeah. been doing it forever. It was, uh, we started a skate team, and we actually, we sort of skate videos, they were really popular. I'm not trying to say like, well, so we're here, popular now. I'm not trying to say that. But we, like, we sold out, the, when we went to, school with our book bags full of VHS copies tapes. of VHS tapes <laughs> and the DVDs were definitely out back then but it was just it was too expensive to make DVDs at home well not many people had DVD players yet. that too yeah still, like, everybody, everybody had VHS so players. and we just sold out we all we sold out of like a hundred copies day one just yep. at just at high school and uh we made skateboards, we made clothes, and then uh, people started growing up and, and getting out of it. But we did one more video, like in college. Yeah. Bmob three. It was it was fun. It was good times. Memory four. I somebody's calling my pocket. I'm ignoring them. They're not calling um, your pocket. They're calling you. They're calling my, my they're calling me in my pocket. Yeah. Um, I lived in New York City in 2008 with my good buddy Brian Gibson, who I went to college with. Dude, is your face super? Is it, it's like just a black face the whole time. I think it's a little bit. I think it's just the way that you're looking at the screen. Like a shadowy, whatever. But, That's anyways, face. so I lived in New York City. I was doing this internship after college um, for a summer, and we, I lived there for seven months, and we would just go skate every freaking chance we could on the weekends. We just took the train into Manhattan, and we would skate up and down the city. We made a video called Don't Block the Box, because... Is it online? It's online. It's on It's on Vimeo, actually. You can find it on Vimeo. Of course it is. You can find it on Vimeo. It exists. Uh, don't block the box. Check it out. It rules. It's like a little skateboard video we made. But uh, we named it because um, 
when you go through the Lincoln Tunnel when you're going into New York City, uh, if you get if you if you if you get caught at an intersection, you block the box, which is like like the where people cross the street right there. Yeah, it's yeah. like two points in your license and like a thousand dollar fine. And like I drove to New York City by myself, and the second that I moved into this, I got through the Lincoln Tunnel, the very first intersection that I got to, I blocked the box, and people were so mad. It's like one of those crazy huge New York intersections. People were like smacking their hands in my car. It became like an ongoing joke the whole time I lived there, and that's when I named the video. Wow. But you screwed up, Brian. Uh, it, it worked out a fine. I didn't get like busted you didn't, you or anything. You didn't get like that. the thousand dollar fine. I did not. My my nice. pocket is blowing up over here. No. No, just the two. Just the two. The last memory of Brian Ames' brain. Skateboarding, fifth memory. I don't remember my first ollie per se. I don't remember my first kickflip per se, but I absolutely 100% remember my first heel flip. Heel and flip. Heel flip, so random. But it like it would be the hardest thing in the world. Like you do it. Like I think a lot of people landed their first flip trick this way. Like in your parents' garage, in between their two cars when it's parked. And ours had like a metal pole in the middle, so it's like not only is it like in between cars, but it's also sectioned off in half. So you've got like well, skinny you and can, half you can lengthwise. This way. It was gnarly. But I did a heel flip, and even like crouching, you pretty much hit your face like on a car sitting next to you or something like that. But yeah, I did like the crappiest heel flip ever. But I will I'll remember that memory. It forever. made you feel great. It made me feel good. You got some Teddy Grahams afterwards. Put on some pizza. Ate it. Realized that was a bad decision. It was good. Yeah. That's it. Five memories with Brian Ames. Uh, but if you guys like this, uh, yeah, leave a comment, uh, give a thumbs up, whatever. Let us know, and I'll do me because I like as I was doing this, to Brian. I was like, man, I, I have all these, so uh, he'll he'll hold the camera. I'll do it. Uh, but I do daily videos, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And Brian, your hat is no, in for it. No. This is. How did that stay in your ah. hand? Ha! Ah. Get away from you. Whatever. How do, you, how do you feel about that, Craig? Close, but no cigar. Have you kicked a T-Rex lately? Tried. Would you feel bad, though? That's a good question, though, because if, like, I like, I don't want to kick animals, but I feel like a T-Rex, like, it wouldn't even phase him. No, it's like a horse, but, like, a thousand times stronger. Yeah, I mean, and everyone kicks horses, let's face it. If you're a jockey. <laughs>